Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Until the Last Plane. This is an upcoming game that is currently participating in the Steam Autumn Festival, uh, which is uh, a festival that basically lets developers showcase games that they're working on and offer their games in like a demo form for people so they can play it for free. That's currently going on right now. I believe it goes till the 13th. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but this is a video that I... I, I posted the first half of yesterday, our first look at the game, uh, and this is sort of the conclusion to the Tunisian campaign. So we're playing through it. You know, I think it's a really interesting game. I'll, I'll leave you my thoughts at the beginning is just to say, I think it's a very interesting game. I think the art style is brilliant. I love the art. I love the, the way everything looks. Um, I think the game needs a little bit more complexity, needs a little bit more challenge. The air combat, I think, is a weak spot. There needs to be more reasons why you're doing things. There needs to be more clear demonstrations of like, I think there was this old, was it Actung Spitfire? There was this old air combat game that let you kind of do 2D air combat similar to this, but it would always show you the arrows of where your aircraft was going to move if if you were, you know, in, you were ordering a particular maneuver. So that would be helpful. The AI definitely could use a little bit of work as well. Um, but I think if they added more combat types, if they added more complexity to the air combat, uh, and, and as they definitely will be adding more aircraft types, this could be a really interesting sort of casual, easy game to play. As it stands right now, it's a demo and it's a game in development, so check it out and see what you think. With that being said, let's jump back into the gameplay, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, you can see the ammo and the fuel added to our reserves up here, 15 and 13. And the spare parts are on their way, boys. And there you have it. So, as you can see here, that's the end of the day. We move on to day number three. The chief of the village is back. Oh, great. The, the bad fruit chief. He wants two of our technicians to help him build a wall. If you decide to send them, they won't be available to this day. So, we can basically send him our well. Uh, we can send them to help build a well. We always have more technicians than we need, so why not? We'll see. We'll see. Why not help the locals? Okay, so we have to do reconnaissance today. There's no uh, sort of pre-mission briefing. By the way, your reconnaissance aircraft, I think, can be shot down as well. It tells me there's different levels of risk with each one of those recon missions. I just have never really seen anything bad happen, so I'm not sure how real that risk is. Meanwhile, I'm going to buy two more P-40s. So that'll bring our, our up to four P-40s. Um, he came back real quick. What just happened? Did he get driven off and he didn't complete his recon? He failed to get his recon done. He didn't get shot down, but he did fail to complete his recon. So we'll send him out again. They must have. He must have ran, run away from the enemy. That was weird. By the way, with our pilots who got promoted, this guy's considered skilled now. But it doesn't tell me like that they've shot down. I really want to track how many kills each one of these guys has. Give me that capability, guys. Come on, game. All right. You know, we used a fair bit of fuel, so I'm going to buy some more. I'm flush with money because of all these successful missions. All right, so let's see here. We have... A bomb factory option, an attack a base option, and an escort a VIP option. Uh, let's uh, do some dogfighting with BF 109s. Or ME 109s. Whatever you want to call them. Alright, we'll send five aircraft up on this mission. How many do we have again? We're up to 12 aircraft? Although, some of those have been shot down, right? Yeah, so I guess they include the dead in your squadron, so you're not allowed to have more than 20 pilots, I guess. All right, so the enemy attempted to maneuver. You can see there's no tail gunner on the BF-109 there, so we managed to succeed in shooting him down. Despite his, my, you know, the P-40 is not as maneuverable as the P-36, so you can see here I've only got three moves. Fortunately, in both of these cases, we picked the right early maneuver spot, so we were able to shoot down two enemy aircraft, and I think that causes... Yep, that's good enough for a successful mission. 
I wonder if there's a duration on, or if all the missions are the same length, or if different missions have different durations. In any event, looks like another successful. Uh, the you know honestly, the 109 is less dangerous than the Stuka, which just seems kind of funny. Man, we're just shredding them. Okay. So our P-36 did not get the ability to close like our P-40s did, uh, but they still were able to get behind and in range of the enemy fighters and shoot them down. Meanwhile, enemy fighters are, are now behind one of my own aircraft. All right, so that was just easy. Again, with the P-36, always fall back and away, and you it seems like you will always get away. I wish I could be like, again, if I could be flying another recon mission right now or whatever, that would be great. Not surprised some of my aircraft would run out of ammunition given that we've been shooting these enemy aircraft apart like uh, paper. Oh, crap. That was a dumb move by the AI. He should have moved left. I made a mistake there. and I'm guessing the enemy maneuvers are just somewhat procedurally generated or something. Or they have, I don't know if they have a sense of where my aircraft are relative to theirs, because it sir, sure didn't seem like it there. He banked right into me. Again, he did it there with the split S. That's, I think, something they need to improve upon. Although I guess at that point it just becomes a little bit of a guessing game. Anyway, the mission should be basically over. Like, I've already shot down six enemy aircraft. I don't want to send fighters back off to keep uh, shooting more down there's no there's no reason to do that yes sir all right mission successful six enemy aircraft shot down one pilot promoted so l ross has been promoted to average all right so we'll do another reconnaissance flight we'll send our p30 or f5e i guess out yes sir as our uh, reconnaissance aircraft is going on we're repairing and sort of upgrading our aircraft or you know getting them ready for another mission Getting most of them, anyway, back into the hangars. You can do a shorter range recon flight, too, which has less risk. Um, but I'm guessing, given the game doesn't give me the option to purchase a new recon aircraft, that you're kind of maxed out at... Uh... All right, so he's back. Looks like our, we've got an attack a base option. So we're just going to send everybody out on this one. Because why not? Send all nine out. Might overwhelm our ground crew when they all come back, but... We need to shoot down one enemy aircraft, and we need to bomb one enemy target. It's already 1,600 hours. I don't think there's any chance we'll get a third mission in today because our recon aircraft had to turn around sort of on his first, first leg of that... Oh, shit. I was short. No! But yeah, because our recon aircraft had to turn around, I don't imagine that we'll uh, we'll get another shot. All right, so we're behind the Stuka. Shit, I missed. Should have plenty of time here. All right, so that one we hit. So we accomplished the first part of our mission. Now we just need to shoot down one enemy aircraft. Looks like we get another bombing mission first. Bombs away. He's going to damage this aircraft too. Mayday, mayday. I'm, hearing a strange sound. I'm hearing a strange sound. My oil pressure's low. I don't have really any spare... Oh, yeah, you can come home. I don't really have any spare parts for the P-40s. I've got like one spare part, I think. All right, so I should clip his wing here, get the kill, and that should succeed the mission. There we go. All right, that P-40's too tired to continue, so he's fine. All right, 
that P36, got another kill. Q Lewis shot him down. Good job, sir. Yes, sir. Out of ammo. Yeah, it's 1300 hours. We're not gonna we're not gonna get another recon strike and then another mission done. I think we barely clipped his wing there. Yep. All right, we burn, we're burning through our fuel and ammo today. Spare parts to a lesser degree. We still have 107. I mean, that should really be the mission. We've shot down three, destroyed two. I don't want to use more ammo and whatnot if I don't need to. All right, got it. Successful mission there. Three bo targets bombed, three pilots shot down, and it's the end of the day. So yesterday we had three successful missions. Today we only had two, but still another successful day for us. Two more skill points unlocked, so I'm going to use that with 20%. I guess the ammunition and fuel capacity of each aircraft have been increased by 20. I, I hadn't really factored that in as even aware that it was something. The other option was requiring less spare parts to be used. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and get more fuel and ammo. While we're still repairing these aircraft. So it's a very busy end of the day here at the uh, at uh, THG Airfield as we wrap up our third day in operation here in Tunis. We'll accelerate the speed a little bit. Duh, duh, duh. 5,500 points now, which would be great to buy more advanced aircraft, but I can only buy eight more anyway. All right, that'll end the day, day four. Moving on to day four. We need to get supplies for the newly landed army per Newly landed army. Protect our ships and try to bombard enemy convoys. Mission of the day, ship escort and bombing enemy ships. By the way, those days when you have a predefined mission, you're able to fly more missions, obviously, because you don't have to waste time waiting on a recon. Local natives have returned to the camp and pay us a visit. They're bringing a figure, a figurine as a gift. They say it's their lucky idol. Yeah, I'll accept the statue. Put it on my HQ desk. No consequences. Okay. It's kind of disappointing. I'd hoped there'd be there would be some consequences. All right, let's go ahead and launch some new missions. We can either attempt to kill two enemy foes or bomb through enemy targets. Let's bomb through enemy targets. It is versus enemy 109s. All right, we're going to spend our money repairing our aircraft here. We're going to go ahead and get our P40s up on this mission. All right, I think six aircraft should be enough. Two P36s, four P40s. I'm also going to go ahead and recruit some new. P40 fighters. So we'll get four more fighters. Four more P40s. That'll give us 16 aircraft. Uh, 14 active, because we had the two that were lost. Because I'm hopeful that we can get a whole bunch of missions in today. God, the ships are so narrow. You gotta hit them right on the fucking head. It's also really windy, which makes that stuff go quicker. All right, looks like I barely clipped that one, although a Messerschmitt's going to shoot me down. All right, so we got the first of the three that we need to we need to hit. All right, now we've got an enemy aircraft behind us. Fast dive gets me out ahead of the one. Oh, great. What does that dodge do? All right, so he didn't, didn't hit me. My slug of an aircraft was able to avoid him. Meanwhile, do we have any spare part issues on the P-40? No. So we have one in everything. Alright, so manage to evade him again, because the AI is stupid. Alright, so our P-40s, our new P-40s are going to start arriving now. All 
All right, that one was... We just squarely hit him. Racked him right in the middle of the ship. Enemy plane. Split ass, get behind. No, he's going to get me. It's good to know that you can't do combat with this plane. Yes, All right, so we have to put a new radiator in. So I think what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to craft a new, or sorry, a new engine. So I'm going to quickly craft a new engine with four of our engineers on the other, on the P-40. I'm also going to go ahead and buy 100 new spare parts because that is essentially all of our spare parts going into that new engine. But I want to make sure that the next time someone gets hit, they're, uh, you know, they're not without spare parts and then we can't repair them. So uh, we'll use the engine now to repair and then we'll have the other technicians working on getting a new engine built. Six Boom and zoom. Seems like they always end up left. Feels like the 109s always end up left. Ready to bomb. Ready to bomb. Bombs away. Got him. All right, another P-40 going down. This is also why I bought a whole bunch of new P-40s, is so that we can we can keep these missions going at a high tempo. I'm not sure if you get more money for more kills than are required, like if there's any benefit to it, or if it increases the likelihood that you get promoted, or or what. Yes, you can come back to base if you're too tired. All right, mission is over. Four enemy ships sunk. 1,300 funds received, plus 20 morale. So we're immediately going to go and launch another mission. And we're immediately, we're going to just kind of keep trying to bomb the enemy enemy aircraft, or enemy ships. So we've got two pilots that are fresh there. All right, so we'll go with the five aircraft that are currently in the hangar. Looks like we have to replace a radiator. So I could spend 1500 bucks to build a second workshop station, but I so rarely use that that I think we're almost done with the first the first repair. So I'll just wait until... Oh boy. I hope he doesn't die because I'm too busy doing other repairing other aircraft. Shit, I need more spare parts and I have none. I'm out of spare parts. Bombs away. God damn it, enemy. So one of the aircraft that was damaged hasn't landed yet, and another aircraft is just about to... On sight. Also, away. it would be cool if the game had consequences, like... You have, you know, your your damaged aircraft have been loitering too long waiting for room on the runway. You know, you they died because their plane crashed. I don't know if it does. Well, but these guys have been, two of those aircraft have been damaged for quite a while. That's going to be a third aircraft getting shot up now. Yes, sir. What is this guy doing? Why is he still in the taxiway? He's just sitting there. Okay. Target on side. All right, so we at least have some room in our in our hangars now, or in our I don't even know what to call them, like their parking stands or something. Did we lose any pilots killed yet today? Doesn't look like it. So these must be some of the damaged aircraft that are coming in now. Our spare parts just came online. So we have the 98 spare parts now. Also, did I run out of... Was this a P-40 that I ran out of? I thought I used a spare part, but it doesn't look like it yet. Yes, sir. Ready to bomb! Ready to bomb. I'm getting pretty damn good at hitting these targets. 
Wish there was a way to lessen the likelihood of you getting shot down. I guess I could try bombing from a higher altitude. Enemy plane! Enemy plane! You're fine. They missed ya. Is there something wrong, though? All right, so we succeeded in that mission. We bombed eight enemy vessels. I'm guessing the more you bomb, the more points you get, because we got $2,000. That seems like a lot. Meanwhile, I think we got another pilot promoted. I'm going to go ahead and bomb them again. We've got two more fresh P-40 pilots. We did spend a shit ton repairing some pretty badly shot up aircraft. So two fresh pilots and a bunch of not so fresh, but we'll we'll send out six more aircraft. All right, so we just are using up an engine. Oh shit! So we're using our last engine in those P-36s. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy another engine and hope that we don't uh, or more spare parts so we can build another engine and hope that. Uh, that we don't end up needing another engine before before we get those spare parts in that engine built. Damn. God damn it, that seemed like it was right on it. I need to hit three of them, right? I'm not going to go at a, at a higher altitude until I've I've destroyed at least 3 enemy ships. I don't think there's not going to be time for a fourth mission. I don't know if you can ever get four missions in a single day, but we should hopefully be able to succeed on this third mission. Bomb drops. All right, so that's two, so we need one more. So tired. Yeah, you can come home. Got him. The the horizontal one always seems to be easy. The the vertical one is the one that is the the one to be that's really tricky, especially on a lot of these narrow targets. Ready to bomb. Ready to bomb. bomb drops. Also, on these really narrow targets, like the factories are a little bit wider. On these really narrow targets, I'm not sure I want to bomb at a higher altitude. Taking the damage is probably the right approach. Everything is in stock for the P-40, right? Yeah. All right. Got him. More enemy fighters, though. It helps in this mission that the wind is weak, which makes it easier. Those reticles move more slowly. But we're already up to five targets targets hit. Can we make it six? Bombs away. We can, although we're gonna take more bullets to our uh, to our aircraft here. It can't, because you just landed it. So obviously it can land. Landing is part of flying. There we go. Got it. I do hope that in the final version of the game that it is there's more diversity of mission types and uh, maybe more mechanics than just, you know, simply get the reticle on target or maneuver behind the enemy aircraft. It would be cool if there were different ways you could attack. You can see there we destroyed seven enemy bases, which resulted in 200 fewer dollars than the previous mission where we had destroyed eight. Three successful missions for the day, though. No pilots uh, were killed. That's good news. We now have four points available to us, so we can use blueprints, which inspection of a damaged plane takes 50% less time, or fire extinguisher, which reduces fire likelihood. I'm actually going to go with blueprints. Uh, inspecting the aircraft seems to be the, the biggest uh, sort of glean or biggest uh, time waster for us in, uh, in terms of our missions. Yes, sir. We needed another engine there. 
Thank God it was the P40 and I had the engine in stock. We'll have a bunch of our engineers work on uh, another P36 engine just in case. I'm actually using all of my mechanics for the first time ever. All ten mechanics. By the way, you can also see that three missions were accomplished today. Do we need to... I don't know if another workbench would be would be useful or not. We'll wait. I don't want to spend the money. Uh, it looks like um, Alan is a veteran. You can see it looks like he's got captain's bars next to his name. Increases the number of combat moves, increases his will and his accuracy. Meanwhile, T. Walker, C. Ward, Lewis all look like they're butter bars. And some of these guys don't even have that. All right, so we got the engine built for the P-36. I think that means we've got something in stock for that. I think I'll build another engine tomorrow for our P-40. But let's go ahead and end the day. Day number five. This is a six-day campaign, by the way. The village chief sent a messenger. Looks like they found a wreck of a, of a plane that crashed in the dunes. Do you want to take the wreckage to camp? Yes. Give it to my mechanics and ask if there's anything they can do with it. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm immediately going to buy 100 new spare parts. 10 fuel, 10 ammo. Because why not? Um, let's go ahead and launch our reconnaissance aircraft. Again, we could go with uh, less information and less risk, less range. I'm not sure if it means he comes back to base sooner or not. If he came back to base sooner, I'd be fine with that. I just want more missions. I want as much money as I can get. And uh, I can get more money if uh, if his missions are shorter because then I can run more than one mission. I think, anyway. Man, this is a long recon flight with nothing detected so far. Oh, he's got one. All right, so we've got missions. We've got one mission, Bombard an Enemy Factory. Apparently a bunch of our P-40s took a bunch of damage. All right, we're going to go with four fresh pilots on this mission, I think. We'll do five pilots. Five pilots, we have to destroy two targets, so that might be overkill. But that'll keep the rest of our, our pilots fresh for the second strike, which will come later. Okay, so we're over the target. Got it. No enemy aircraft come up behind us, so that's a successful strike. No damage. Second bomber is in. Enemy fighters coming up behind him. He'll destroy the target, but take damage. I hope it's not your engine. Get out of there. Get out of there. This is just hilarious. I could even get behind him to shoot at him. We're flying circles around the enemy. Well, good thing it's not the engine because we don't have a spare engine. We're going to put five engineers on building a new engine. We're also going to buy a hundred more spare parts. Oh, don't want to forget about that. I don't know what happens if you run out of time to, to do your bombing bombing mission, by the way. I don't know if it'll like cause your plane to crash or if it'll just cause it to miss or what. But we're bombing up a storm. Random bases and islands in the middle of nowhere. Okay, you can't hit me. Can't touch this. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Can't touch this. I'm hearing a strange sound. Oh, wow. That inspection's going damn fast. That was absurd. Is that because of that new perk I got or because of his rank? I'm not... Bomb 
All right, another successful raid. We're just racking up the points, I guess. Boom and zoom. I don't even know what that means. Yes, sir. Can we just end this mission so I can start another one already? Yeah, so I guess because we don't have a predefined mission on this one, we're not going to get three in again because the first two are going to take too long plus the recon strike. This airfield is on a tiny little rock in the middle of the water. What is it, Malta for the Germans? Does, did Germany, Germany doesn't have a Malta. Yeah, so, anyway. Oh no, that pilot was killed! One pilot was killed, one pilot was promoted, seven bases were, were, were destroyed. So we'll launch another recon flight while we're doing all this. Who was it? V. Campbell. Minus 10 morale. How good was he? V. Campbell. Oh, he's, an, he's a rookie pilot. Who cares? He's not one of our promoted guys. Something in stack for all of that. And that. Okay, good. I also like that the spare parts are unique to the airframe. So if you build like a new engine for a P36, that's not going to help your P40s because and naturally they use a different engine. That is, to me, a nice feature. I know that's not something that a lot of games, like, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, well, who cares? That's, you know, not a big deal or whatever. But there's a lot of games out there that just wouldn't even bother to, to get that right. Ready to fight. You know, it's a minor detail, but it's a it's a it's a nice one in my opinion. Ready to fight. So we're sending off that second mission. Probably won't get a third one in since it's already three o'clock and we're just starting this bomb factory mission. Six. I wish I knew what he was saying. I can't understand to understand that that uh, graphic or that that audio clip that plays. Got it. No enemy fighter behind. Man, those reticles are moving slowly. Mayday! Mayday! Okay, I'll well, bring it into the end of the taxi stand, and we'll we'll figure it out for you. Don't worry, Evans. We got you. My plane can't fly. Well, you're on the ground, so you're fine. Radiator. We'll have to build another one of those, so we've got one on hand. Okay, so we'll do that. Craft a new new uh, radiator for the P40. Only 10 spare parts for a radiator. That's a relatively simple job. They only assigned one mechanic to it. I wonder if the likelihood, like based on the spare parts, that determines the likelihood of a, a, of a component being damaged or not. I'm not sure. I swear I hear like a fire sound effect. Where the hell's that coming from? Are they like inserting water into the radiator? All right, should be safely out ahead. Yep. All right, so that P40's repaired. You suck. I guess the, the level of ease that we're dealing with is realistic if you consider that there's Stukas that are trying to act as fighters. I'm so tired. Yeah, Blue come home. I'm tired. All ty tired pilots are allowed to return to base. This is the official policy of the historical gamer. Just sidled on over to the right and we were safe.
Another bomb and strike. Bomb drop. I don't really miss anymore, at least not at this altitude. Okay, six more bases bombed, no pilots killed, nobody was promoted either. That's going to end it for the day. I could send the recon plane out, but it's kind of pointless. It's already 7 o'clock, or 6 o'clock. I've already done all of the items here. No more bullets. Apparently there's like a camp security element, which I'm not really yes, aware of that even being an issue. Yes, sir. Like. I guess these random people coming up to us in the middle uh, every other day or whatever could be could be a threat to camp security, but I haven't experienced any of them being a threat yet. We didn't even use all of our fighters, all of our pilots today, so I imagine we'll have some well-rested ones tomorrow. Their fatigue I would I would think would be would be in good shape. Is there anything we need to craft here? We've got stock. And we've got stock. Good. We have 160 spare parts, 13 fuel, 15 ammo. So I don't think we need to do anything. Let's just move on to the next day. Day number six is the final day of the Tunisian campaign. It's a six-day campaign. Run to Tunis. Final act. By now, our people are almost in Tunis. The mission of the day, vehicle bombardment. Also, that junk or wreck of an enemy aircraft that we brought back to base is now in our squadron. Our mechanics were able to fix it up, and uh, it's now operating on the line as a friendly. We'll go ahead and get our aircraft up off the ground. So B. Hughes is flying that 109 that we got. Um, we'll go ahead and repair this. Meanwhile, we've got a whole bunch of fre whoop, fresh crews, I think, more or less, in the south here. Not the south, but down the list. So we'll send six aircraft out on this first mission. We have 17 aircraft in our squadron. To the skies. On, duty. on duty. We're ready. To the skies. All right, so just like that. Now this bombing mission looks more difficult. I'm not sure if it's if these these trucks seem very narrow. A little bit more difficult to hit with bombs, although I got that one pretty easily. The wind is weak, which which helps. Bomb drop. But that's two enemy vehicles destroyed already. We need three to succeed with the mission. Bombs away. Okay. There's the third. Successful mission at this point. We didn't even need six aircraft. I haven't seen us be intercepted yet. That's four bombing strikes, and we haven't seen an enemy aircraft yet. Oh, I spoke too soon. 109's behind our uh, P-36. But we sidled off to the right and evaded the enemy attack. We're about halfway through the bombardment mission. Get him. So the enemy aircraft are not doing a good job of intercepting us at all. They've fired bullets at one of our aircraft and missed, and we've bombed five enemy vehicles without loss. Six oh, Jesus, I was very confused. This is my German aircraft. Hey, we got behind him. <laughs> Don't tangle with me. I'm just going to assume that's what he's saying. It'd also be kind of cool if, like, flying a German aircraft influences, like, the likelihood of being intercepted or something like that. Or, or something. Okay, so our P-40 escaped. I imagine you guys are, are... Well, I don't know why that P-36 is out of ammo. Yes, sir. Ready to bomb. I, 
would think my P-40s that are dropping all these bombs on these enemy trucks would be the ones that would be out of ammo. No Alright, seven successful vehicles destroyed. One pilot was promoted. It looks like it's B. Hughes promoted to average. We'll get another mission going right away. We've got a lot of aircraft that are going to need some new new weaponry, but we can go ahead and send these aircraft. I think seven aircraft will be more than enough. I know the fatigue and stress level is up on some of them, but guys, this is the last day of the campaign. we got to get as many sorties out of you as possible. We've got to destroy as many enemy aircraft, enemy targets as possible as well. Ready to bomb. All right, one target, one target destroyed. There's the BF-109 coming down. Meanwhile, enemy aircraft is behind us. All right. Again, if the AI just moved over to the right, he would have had me, but he didn't. God damn it, that one was tough because the reticle was moving so slowly that I was already pretty much past the target, so I had to double click rather than wait for the, the horizontal one to go up and come right back down. I couldn't I couldn't wait. Oh, I think he clipped my wing. Mayday. No! Mayday! Mayday! All right, well, we've got one of three targets. We're halfway done with this bombardment strike. I'm waiting to see more bombing Target events. All right, we got that one. I, the P-36, it's like, I don't know if it's such a slow aircraft. That's the problem. I'm not sure. But we got a second one destroyed. It might be the wind. The wind is so slow that I that I'm almost past the target before they even line up the first time. Yes, sir. I'm tired. Yeah, if you're tired, come back. We're already at three out of three, so it's already a successful mission. Bombs away. Four out of three. At this point, it's just trying to see how much possible money I can have, which I'm kind of viewing as, like, the score. All right, I'm getting better at those double clicks. And it seems like coming in at uh, medium altitude on this mission isn't really much of a risk. I'm tired. Yeah, you're tired. Target Come back. 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 I gotcha. Damn. God damn it. That one was a little tricky. But yeah, that very weak wind is, is actually posing a problem, which is interesting. It also, apparently, the wind level affects your maneuverability in dogfighting. I kind of wish I had replaced all my P-36s with P-40s. Although, in some respects, the P-36s are, are better aircraft in this game, given their maneuverability over the P-40. Six enemy targets destroyed. Alright, so successful mission there. So we'll form up for a new mission immediately. You can see two of our P-40 pilots have very high fatigue levels. So Hughes, you're recently promoted. We'll send you out, and all the the less the less tired people. We'll send six more aircraft out here at 14:30 hours, almost certainly our last mission of the day. Go, go, go. No On duty. Yes, sir. I didn't want to wait for those other P-36s to come back. Yes, sir. Ready to bomb. Our BF-109. Lining up behind that enemy truck and destroying it. This is like the highway of death or something here. They, all these enemy vehicles just getting lit up. Ready to bomb. With very limited loss on our end. Bomb drops. Basically just reload these aircraft. I wish, again, I wish there was a little bit more complexity to the game's management of the airfield. It doesn't feel like the airfield management is, you know, I think... One of the interesting things with, with Carrier Deck is it may not have been the greatest game, but it was it was very much you were you were managing a very busy carrier deck. Um, whereas this the the airfield is just kind of like, alright, almost at your leisure. 
Um, again, if you had multiple missions, I think it would be interesting. Carrier deck doesn't have any uh, like actual combat in the game, which makes this a little bit different. But um, but yeah, I think that's probably the closest thing I can I can think of that comes to this. And yet, I feel like uh, there's things Carrier Deck does better than this game so far, namely the man like giving you the sense of uh, of hectic management of your of your deck as and you know in the the comparison in this game would be the the airfield. Um, but it doesn't have the combat, which this game has, although it's this game's combat's admittedly pretty simple. Um, it's a pretty impressive effort, in my opinion, for what we can see right now. I'm just curious how much deeper and more complex the game gets. It does have two more campaigns, and this campaign has two more campaigns within the campaign. So I don't know if your squadron progresses from Tunisia to Italy to Normandy, or if it's a new squadron every time, or, or what. You know, it's clear there's you know two more levels on the tech tree as well so you could go to like you know over here there's a four and a five that aren't available yet so you could uh oh so you 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 know you could assume that that's going to be something that indicates the game is going to be more complex than than it is right now meanwhile you can see seven bases bombed 1900 funds i guess we can try and start another mission it's 1830 but i'm gonna i'm gonna try I know you're all really tired, but get out there. Fine. No, you're not coming back. I need guys who can get to the target. I need to destroy three targets quickly. Oh God. Yeah, your fatigue level is really high. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I think I might have just given the whole mission permission to return to base. We've got at least one more bomb that's going to drop. Bombs away. I don't know who's all still out on mission. Yes, sir. Oh, we're going to get a chance. Bomb drop. That'll be our fourth success. Oh, Amor crashed because he's too tired. He's not going to be remembered. He'll be remembered as a hero. Morale minus 10. Oh, Amor, I think, was my captain, wasn't he? I think he was my highest ranked guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come home. You've succeeded, okay? Three out of three. Good job, boys. Squadron really came in clutch today. It would have been would have been a nice idea maybe to have a use a little bit of that money to have a few more aircraft to draw from. But another successful mission. A more was not actually our highest ranking individual. He's skilled, but he's not a veteran. Man, these P36s are just going ham. I don't know if it's just Sea Ward or if it's been all of them. I I haven't. I'm not even sure how many aircraft are involved in the mission. I wish it let me click on it and see, like, who all's still out fighting. It's C. Ward again in this case, so that's him on at least two of these targets. He really wants to destroy these Germans uh, before they can get out of there. It's Ward again. Oh no! Miss. Fuck! I I missed the first pass and there was not there was not time for a second. How many bombs does he have? This has got to be him. Yeah, it is. Dude's shooting for a medal. Six bombs, uh, bases bombed, one pilot killed. How was Ward not promoted there? All right, so we maxed out all of our tech tree with one point to spare. Yes, sir. And I think that's going to do it for the Tunisian campaign. We got four successful missions here today. $10,000. We could definitely use better aircraft than the P-40s that we have here. 
We lost three pilot. No, one, two, three, four pilots were killed in our uh, in our campaign. One P thirty six pilot, three P forty pilots. We gained a number of promotions. We've got three, four, five guys, six guys who are veterans now. Uh, we've got several experienced guys. One guy's average. So we've got a pretty experienced squadron now too. Tunish, Tunish, Tunis. Three medals here. 16 missions accomplished. Four pilots lost. And we helped build the village well. A victory for us. And at that point, it kicks us back out to the main menu. And that's because that's all there is at this point that's available. This is all that's in the demo, uh, which is quite a fun little demo uh, for the Steam Developer Festival or Steam Festival, uh, Autumn Festival. Um, you guys should check it out. It's an interesting little game. It's not overly complex. It's not overly deep, but I think it's worth a look. Uh, I'm really curious to see how the game will develop. Uh, I'm definitely going to be following it. But with that being said... I'm going to go ahead and sign out here, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.